Robomate Plus, India's largest curriculum based study app. Download the app now. So this is me on a seesaw. You'll notice that right now I'm standing on one side of it and because I'm the only weight, the seesaw has tilted in the anti-clockwise direction. But say for example, I have a box of the same weight as I am and I place that box at exactly the same distance from the pivot point as me. As soon as I do that, the box causes the seesaw to tilt in the clockwise direction and now the seesaw balances itself in the horizontal position. But observe carefully. Observe if I were to place another box of the same weight on top of the first. This time the weight has increased and as soon as I do that, now the seesaw turns even more in the clockwise direction and turns to the right. But wait a minute, is it possible for me to balance the weight of both of those boxes with just my weight? Well, to do that, I have to move away from the pivot point. Observe carefully, as I start moving away from the pivot point, the seesaw starts to turn anti-clockwise. And finally, in this position, the seesaw has now become balanced in the horizontal position. But observe carefully, what is this entire concept based on? You will notice that to balance twice the weight on the other side, I had to move twice the distance. And it is this very concept is what is called as the principle of moments. So let's understand the principle of moments in terms of physics. So here I have a simple ruler which is hung at the center. I have a weight placed on one end of the ruler and this would cause it to turn in the clockwise direction. Say I have another weight placed on the opposite end of the ruler. Well, that would cause the ruler to turn in the anti-clockwise direction. Now observe carefully. Now using both the weights at the same time, let's say again I have the first weight, I place it at one end, it causes it to turn clockwise. Now I take the other weight and place it at just the right position on the opposite side so that the ruler now balances itself in the horizontal position. So in this condition right now, I've got two weights W1 and W2 acting at two points A and B and their respective distances from the center are L1 and L2. Now in this condition, let us understand the principle of moments over here. So with this simple understanding, let's first calculate the anti-clockwise moment, which is going to be W into its perpendicular distance L1 and the clockwise moment as W2 into its perpendicular distance L2. Now you should know that in this equilibrium position, the anti-clockwise moment equals clockwise moment. So from here we can say W1 L1 is always equal to W2 L2. Observe carefully, this was only if two weights are acting on this simple ruler. But what if I have multiple weights and multiple forces acting and the system still remains in the equilibrium position? Then I can generally say that the sum of the anti-clockwise moments will be equal to the sum of the clockwise moments. But remember as a thumb rule we had said, clockwise moment is always taken as negative. And if I rearrange this simple equation here, sending clockwise moments on the other side, then I get the sum of anti-clockwise plus the sum of clockwise moments equals zero. So do you notice over here an algebraic sum equals to zero. So in simple terms, I can say that according to the principle of moments, if the algebraic sum of the moments of all the forces acting on the body about the axis of rotation is zero, then we can say that the body is in equilibrium. And this was your basic understanding of the principle of moments. Thank you for watching this video lecture. To watch more such interesting videos, attempt tests and to get instant analysis, download the Robobate Plus app now.